Hello and welcome to how to create a custom level with Mediocre Mapper for Beat Saber. Before making these custom levels, I do have to say you need to have a modded game of Beat Saber already modded. And by the way, I've made a second channel or just kind of another channel. If you guys would like to support me, feel free to subscribe, link down below. Now this tutorial is under 20 minutes, so good for me, it won't take up too much of your time, but let's begin. Now that we're on my desktop, let's go to this website that'll be linked down in the description. We're gonna download a program called Mediocre Mediocre Mapper, and this is the fourth version. If we scroll all the way down at the bottom, we'll see MediocreMapper.zip. Simply click this link. It's going to download the program as a .zip. Now, I've already extracted it to my desktop, and you get this folder called a Mediocre Mapper. It's going to have two other folders, a little text document, and then the actual application. So, open up the application. For me, since I've already been using this, let me just go to clear settings. But this is the first screen of which you're going to see, and it's going to ask you to please enter your Beat Saber install or custom songs folder. So, if I go back to my D drive, which is my S SSD, go to my games folder, Steam library, Steam apps, common Beat Saber. This is the file directory for me. Now it could be a different location for you, but go to wherever your Beat Saber install folder is and put in that directory. Now make sure you're in the work in progress songs tab. Go down to the bottom and enter a name that you want to actually make the folder. So let's say you're making a certain song, make the song name that folder. But for me, I'm just going to be calling this test EE and we're going to press the make beat song. It's going to make a little section for us to press this or delete but before we press this i want to show you guys the settings on the right hand side so starting from top to bottom we have the auto save settings of course keep that on we have some lighting controls and i'm going to turn off bongo cat and cat so i have everything just at default and then we have some beta options which these options are only if you're going to be using mapping extensions when making your custom map i'm not going to be covering that in today's video just so we can actually get the basics down and then lastly we we have the chroma toggle if you want to do two custom colors. But for me, I'm not going to mess with anything else. I'm just going to simply press this. Now, what does this take me to? This is the settings of our certain song that we're going to be mapping. The song that I'm going to be using is actually one that I've already made myself so that I don't get any copyright claims or nothing like that when making this video. So whatever song that you want to make a map to, just simply go to YouTube, grab the link and go to like a YouTube to MP3 downloader, just like MP3 G. Uses. I'm just going to simply download the song and it's going to download as a .mp3. I'll just simply once again press download, we'll open another tab and you close that and then I have my song as an mp3. Now unfortunately you can't just use your mp3 file of the certain song you want to map to because it has to go to a file type called .ogg. To convert our mp3 to ogg we can actually go into audacity here. Now that we've imported our mp3 file into audacity we're going to need to scroll all the way really zoomed in and all the way to the front as you can see there's a little bit of space that's completely silent that we're going to need to delete so that we're on beat when actually placing the notes and this all has to do with bpm and if you don't know the bpm of your song just simply go to google search that song name and then like bpm for me i already personally know what my bpm is it's 128 and we're going to be using that later inside of mediocre mapper once you have everything all good simply double click so that everything is highlighted go up to file go to export and export as ogg now i'm just simply going to rename mine to i get high ogg and we're going to press ok and it's going to export as an ogg file from here we can simply exit out of audacity and we can actually delete the mp3 version of the song so we don't get confused of which is which now before we hop back to mediocre mapper make sure that you do download the cover art for that specific song and when you do download Download this make sure that it is in a JPEG to quickly check just right click the cover image go to properties and it'll tell you jpeg.jpg if it's in a PNG or any other type of photo format make sure that you convert it to a JPG or JPEG or just download an actual JPEG from the internet hopping back into mediocre mapper we get this songs folder blah blah blah, blah slash work in progress song so this is currently where our folder is at now if we go back into the beat saber folder we see the work in progress songs and then we see that new folder that we created now on the bottom right 
right hand side of mediocre mapper we see song audio format need to be dot ogg and placed inside of our folder here if we open up our test folder we have the info we're going to now drag in the ogg and we're going to drag in the cover art jpeg now that we have these two things inside of this folder we are good to minimize this folder tab we can now actually start adding the detailed info into mediocre mapper so for the song name i get high author elite eric which is me the bpm is going to be 128 we can keep the preview start time and preview duration at the same if you want a longer preview or if you want the preview time to be extended or shortened you can change up these settings but we're just simply going to leave these at 12 and 10. now if we see here cover image name that's why i just left it as cover.jpg but i need to actually rename this not open it up i need to rename this to a lowercase c and yes capital letters do matter you can actually change up which environment that you want to use but i'm just going to be using the default environment and you can add a custom platform if you do have the custom platforms mod and right before we get to actually editing the level we need to add a difficulty so we're just going to keep this on easy we're not going to change up any of these settings if you guys want to go right ahead and we're going to simply rename our ogg file to song.ogg now before i just had you rename it to whatever the name was ogg so you know what it was or whatever you wanted to name it but just rename this to song and yes capital letters do matter and now we're going to simply press edit level this is the main screen for mediocre map or the actual mapper so i'm currently right clicking i'm holding down the right click so i can look if not then i just get my mouse so i could place blocks whenever i want so if you do want to free look hold down right mouse and you'll be able to use wasd to move around as if you're playing a video game you can use the space bar to go up and then control to go down a quick overview left side is for the notes right side is for all the lights but when you're playing the game you only see this lane on the very left side you have the actual audio wave form so you can kind of see what's coming up if you use the scroll wheel you're able to go forward or go backwards now when i use scroll wheel up one time i'm going up by one bar so i'm currently at bar three if i scroll up i'm going to bar four and if you want to get in between you're going to hold down control and in the bottom left corner we get the cursor precision and we're just going to move our mouse wheel down to get a certain amount that we want so if you want to make all those really fast notes this is what you're going to want to do so that your mouse wheel scrolls ever so slightly so you can place a ton of notes inside a certain bar now before we get started placing blocks in the right hand side we get these three bars this is also a settings area that actually shows you all of the camera controls general controls and note controls mapping extensions lighting blah, blah blah you can scroll and look through everything in case i don't cover a specific thing all right so let's start placing some notes so currently the red block and the blue block of course are the only blocks that we're going to be using and just a reminder red blocks are for your left hand and blue blocks are for your right hand so now let's start placing some blocks so we're just going to be placing a block per bar and this is going to be a pretty boring rhythm so don't do the same rhythm that i'm doing i'm just going to show you how blocks can be placed so now as we listen through everything is going to be on beat So now that we have a super overview basic of the controls and whatnot, let's actually start placing some blocks. So currently I am on the right hand or blue block. And if I simply just press down, I have the ability to place in the three by four rectangle, which is the area which Beat Saber allows you to place blocks. A really nice way to switch in between blocks of which block you wanna place either red or blue. You can press one for red and two for blue on your keyboard and that will allow you to place different block colors by pressing three you're able to place the bomb blocks now this option or number four has allowed you to actually place walls now i'm not a big fan of walls but if you want to just simply place it wherever place it how far back you want and you have a wall of course you're not able to go through this you'll instantly fail but that is just if you want to place walls when placing blocks you're able to place them in a variety of different ways and so if you see here i'm already placing blocks and different types of angles and how you do that is you start out let's go over here and using WASD you're able to change the block direction so W is up S is down A is to the left and D is to the right so in order to get a block placed in a 45 degree angle such as to the top and left we're gonna be pressing A and W so that those two keys combined will press this block into the top left same thing for the top right that's W and D 
for the bottom right is S and D, and for the bottom left is A and S. Another power tip, what's really nice if you want to actually make some cool rhythms and want and not have to keep changing uh, between the red and blue blocks is also use that middle mouse just because it makes it so much easier so you don't have to go place down that, press one, place down that, press two go to go back to blue and whatnot. Just using the middle mouse makes it that much easier. So I'd highly recommend that you use your middle mouse button whenever changing blocks. I've made a couple maps in the past and I'm not the best at making maps but the more practice you do on making your maps the better they will be and this was the very basic overview for the block segment now if you press the tab button on your keyboard you get a whole new screen that we have to hold the right mouse button and actually move our person to the right here so we can go to the lighting configurations for our map so now that we're on the lighting side if I put my camera up we can actually see what all these red letters mean our first five rows right here and I'll highlight them in pink or in red as it shows up these are all the different lights that you can program into your song starting from the top we have the bottom slash back slash side lasers then we have right lasers left lasers the track ring neons which are the lights on the neon ring and then we have the back top lasers now that we're back to a view to kind of see our whole environment i'm going to place them one by one to show you what the lights are actually like inside of mediocre map so you can see each actual light so if i play the song right here the first one was the x the second one is the ring the third one is our left laser the fourth one is our right laser and then our fifth one is the actual track lasers which are these lasers right here so now i changed the colors and we went to the left hand side over here let's actually see how those would look so we're our person we're in vr Those are the five type of lights inside of Beat Saber. Going again to overlook the red text, we have some more options. We have five more options that one, allows us to have a BPM change. We have right laser speed, left laser speed, small rings zoom, and ring rotation. I'm going to be displaying the ring rotation. So if we scroll back just a tad bit, press play, the rings spin. That is what this option does. Next up is the ring zoom, which this is going to bring all the rings closer to you as you saw now that we're back on the left hand side let's view this from a first person perspective of the ring turn and the ring zoom so we got the turn and the zoom the last two options are the right laser speed and left laser speed currently if i play the song the lasers aren't spinning which is this red one right here and then this blue one if i want to change that we're going to go down to the right hand side go to laser speed and increase it as much as we want to 20 or zero i'm going to show you what 20 looks like because that's an extreme exaggeration but we have to get rid of the zero blocks now when we place down the blocks as 20 these things are going to spin so you can see right there. So the lasers aren't spinning, and then when it crosses that point, they're spinning like crazy. And then lastly, we do have a BPM change, which is our last option, but if you're not gonna be using a song that changes BPM, you don't need to worry about this option. To actually place blocks just like I did, we need to select a color and then select which type of lighting that we wanna place down. So I'm going to currently place all of these lights as off. So if we play the song, all the lights disappear when using this type of block. W is if you want to place a block that is lit up and S is if you want to turn off those lights. So just like that, off, on, off. So I'm gonna be turning all the lights off so I can show you the other functions. Now that we have the on and off cover, let's talk about the flash. So if we place down a flash, the light's only gonna flash and stay on. If we right click the flash block, it's going to turn into a strobe. So let's go ahead and delete these other blocks. And if we go to the flash right click to make it strobe, we're gonna see that it's going to have this strobe effect. So as you can see, a strobe was made. Now in the bottom right section, we can change the duration and the interval. I'm just gonna change this to eight and the duration to four. It's gonna be automatically set to one and four. Let's go ahead and delete these blocks once again. Go back, press whichever color, and we're gonna set this to strobe. Let's set it now. Sometimes it might look weird like this, but let's go ahead and play and show you the actual strobe effect. 
that's just a really easy way of how to get a strobe. And then the last type of lock we're gonna be covering is the fade. So if we turn all of the lights off and we select the fade block, make sure you select a color, we're gonna set a fade to all these are blue. But you know what, let's actually change the last two to red. So if we play the song, all the lights are gonna turn off, but then they're gonna turn on and fade off. And it fades just like that. And that's basically all for the big overview of how to actually edit the level. Now pretend with me one second that we are completely done. This is a fully custom level. We have tons of notes on the left side. It's a full map just like you would play. When you get your map done, head up to the three bars, go to save map immediately. And then we're gonna go back to song infos. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was lightning. I, I don't know if y'all heard that. I'm in a huge thunderstorm right now. Now that we have our map done, we want to test this map. So let's head back to our folder. If we open this up, we have the cover, the song, we have info and easy, but they're as .json or JSON files, and they need to be converted to .dat. Now, in order to convert those files, we need to right click and we need to press copy, go into Beat Saber and press if you haven't modded Beat Saber, well, you guys need to mod Beat Saber in order to do this anyways. Now, when the mods do install, you're going to be given this application called Song Converter. So we take our test folder, whatever folder you're using, and drag it over Song Converter. It's not going to take a long time. Once we go back into this folder, everything is in a .dat as needed. Quick editor's note while I'm going through this, the song.ogg converts to a .egg, so just be mindful of that. From here, we can simply press Control X to cut it or right click and press cut. We can now go to the Beat Saber data folder, go to the custom work in progress levels, and to test this, we paste it in there. And if we go inside of Steam or Oculus and press play to play Beat Saber, this this song is now going to be in the custom work in progress levels section so we can play test this level. So go to your solo tab, go to the work in progress levels, and we now have our song. So now it probably won't let you play the song and that's okay. If you go to this arrow, it'll say work in progress song, please play in practice mode. That's totally okay. So this is not a fully developed song at all. This is just those random notes that I placed in the beginning. So I'm going to turn on no fail, go to the practice plugin and press play. Now we have our song that we're playing and blah, blah, blah. We have some lights. We have those up down arrows like I did before. All of those cool, cool, cool. And this is the part where you would actually play test your song. Now we're getting to the drop and this is where I did all of those lights. So this is where you can kind of test to see where your lights are going to be. And of course it's green and blue right now just because we are using rainbow lights mod. You see we have those laser spins there, turns off and we got the strobe. And the fade right there. And this is how you play test your map. Now, when you're done with your song and you want to upload it, simply go back to the folder, open up the folder, and we're going to need to highlight all of these. We have cover, we have the difficulty, which is easy.dat, we have the info.dat, and song.egg. Now, we're simply going to right click, go to send to compressed zip folder, and we're going to rename this to test zip. We're going to drag this to our desktop, and we're going to go to beatsaver.com. Make sure that you do have an account so that you get the upload button and when you do make your account press upload name the title whatever the song name is so it just test you can also add a description so I'm just gonna put mapped by elite Eric or whatever you want to put for the beat map zip go to choose file and then already on your desktop should be right there and we're gonna be able to upload now I am not going to upload this just because it's a whole pile of nothing but when you're done just simply press upload and you can download and play that song now when you do press the upload button and actually upload everything to beat save head over to Beast Saber or BeastSaber.com and we're going to be able to search for that song. So I'm just going to put Eric in there and hopefully one of my other ones comes up. No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, here mine is right here. And when you upload it, you're able to actually download it and play it in game. And it's that simple. Thank you for sticking all the way to the end with me. I do appreciate it. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for some more Beat Saber tutorials and things like that. And comment down below if you guys do need some help. With that being said, feel free to click any of these videos on screen right now to watch some more Beat Saber.